welcome back to my channel um, I was gonna do a top five today but considering the transfer windows open um, and we're linked to quite a few centre-backs recently I think that it's a good time to kind of discuss some of the centre-back options out there this summer because that's an area we definitely need to improve on definitely and by improve on I mean once and for all like we've been waiting for our defence to be fixed for years on end and I know Emery's just coming last summer um, Although, in my opinion, we did make defensive improvements, especially in the bigger games under Emery. Overall, when you look at the picture of the season, we did concede a similar amount to um, the season before and the season before that. So, not too uh, much improvement made in that department. Uh, I do want to mention that from January till the Palace game, we did have the second best defensive record in the league. Not that it counts for much, but that showed a period of consistency where we were defensively astute, I'd say. Um, especially in comparison to the rest of the league. Do you know what I mean? Coupled that with our home form, I'd say things on the horizon with Emery look good, especially if we back him properly this summer. So let's look at some of the names um, we're linked with first and foremost. Obviously, Saliba. I think he's a 17, 18-year-old centre, French centre-back. Uh, currently playing for St Etienne. He just broke through this year. But my thing with him is he's still young. He's just broke through. Um, would he be a first-team signing? I doubt it, especially in the Premier League. I mean, a 17, 18-year-old coming in from St Etienne. And I think he only played a handful, well, not a handful, but I think 15 to 20 games for them this past season. So I, I wouldn't see that as fixing the defence right now. But that once and for all that I said, maybe that's a good option, especially for cheap if we can get him in as well as a top centre-back to start. Um, for the next few years, our defensive lineup, our defensive shape will start to come into fruition. So... Potentially that link is there for that, but with him, I don't see him fixing the defence um, here and now. He's too young for that and the Premier League is way too physical to expect a teenager to come in and, and fix the Arsenal defence. <laughs> An age-old problem, it seems. So, um, With him, I think, looks a good player. Um, I haven't seen much of him. I saw St Etienne a couple of times this season, but not much of him, if I'm honest. Um, I've read about him since we've been linked and I've seen a couple of videos which doesn't really help too much but listen he's got a he's got a buzz around him so any centre back with a buzz that a few big teams want I'll happily take him at Arsenal see his development through and give them opportunity when um, we see fit. Moving on to a couple other centre backs that they, they would improve the first team right now and they are young as well the RC, RB Leipzig pair Ibrahim Makanate and uh, Dayot Opomikano, something like that. Both of them young. I think Konate is 19, um, Opomikano is 20, I think, or the other way around. But yeah, 19, 20. Um, had solid seasons. RB's defensive record this season in um, the Bundesliga is, is top. Um, they're both athletic, both physical, both good on the ball. Like I mentioned, both young. And they're readily available. I mean, RB's policy, it seems, is to create these, these, this talent, develop them and move them on. So why not? Why not scoop in there and try and nab one of these centre-backs? Um, especially, in my opinion, out of the two, I'd probably take Konate. Um, reason being, he's a bit taller. I think he's got a bit better physical attributes for the league. I still think Upon McConnell would be a solid signing and would improve us a hell of a lot. But if you're asking me to pick out of them two, and I know it's early stages for them two, then I'd right now I'd go for Konate. But I'd be happy with both. Do you know what I mean? Happy with both. Like I said, best um, defensive record in Germany. Konate's a beast, physical beast, six foot four, nineteen years of age. He's he's only gonna get better. He's only gonna get better. And with Dayo, he's about six foot, six foot one. Very good on the ball. That's one thing with him. I'd say the, I'd say they're both very good on the ball. That's the thing with them too. Um, Diot, Diot seems the one to kind of cover Konate a bit more. I've seen RV a few games this season and Konate is the one that likes to adventure forward a bit and carry the ball forward, which is, again is something we need. Emery likes to play at the back. We need a centre-back confident on the ball. So I'm happy to be linked with him. I'm happy to be linked with either or of them. If we can get one of them two in, he'll go a long way in helping sort this defence out. They're still very young, still got a lot to learn. And 
it wouldn't automatically sort them out right now, sort the defence out right now, but it'll go a long way in shoring the back line up, providing some consistency back there and growth as we go forward with holding as well. Socrates is, what, 30 years of age now, so he can pass his experience down to these young lads and hopefully on to better things defensively at Arsenal Football Club. So regarding them two, I'd be happy with either. Um, obviously, Saliba mentioned earlier, St Etienne. With him, I'd be happy but it's more a long-term signing. And as an Arsenal fan, as a fan that's been frustrated for the past 10, 12 years, I've gone through that period of signing players with potential, um, overseeing their development and then moving them on. I want to see improvements right now. That's what we need right now. So um, happy with all three links there. Moving on, I think there's a couple big names. If, if Arsenal really want to start moving like big boys now, like Liverpool flipped and did, Liverpool wasn't signing did the names that they're signing now, wasn't spending the money they were spending um, recently. They they just flipped it up and um, I think Klopp gave them the vision, Klopp gave them the hope and they fully, fully backed him. Liverpool weren't doing this a few years ago. So if by some miracle Kronke and our board somehow managed to do similar as Liverpool did, I know they had assets to sell on and make money back, but... If somehow we can go for a top, top defender, then obviously I've mentioned before Koulibaly. I don't want to um, stay on his name too long. I, I had a video on him last summer. I've wanted him for a couple summers now. So Koulibaly is someone that I see would impact the defence right now. Bringing him in would have the same impact or similar impact Van Dijk had coming into Liverpool. Um, big, strong, athletic, good on the ball, dominant, um, leader. 28, that's the only issue with him Spending that money on a 28 year old Is probably not something Arsenal will do um, I know we've done it in recent times With Aubameyang um, But uh, Looking at Arsenal's transfer history It's not many times we spend big money on older players So that's that's definitely one defender One solid defender that would Improve us here and now It's just <laughs> the, money, the money floating around For him is mad and a couple of big teams Will probably be in for him too uh, Toby Alderweireld is another one People are going to laugh that I mentioned his name But listen, if Arsenal again want to start moving like big boys Then why not try and nab him? I think this depends on a, a lot on Champions League I think if we get Champions League We could get Toby Get the 25 million release clause Speak to him He might not want to move from London I think his his thing is money right now So if we can get Champions League If we can see a new a new horizon for Arsenal And he could be a part of that new horizon Then why not? It wouldn't be a Sol Campbell type signing, but if we were to get Toby in and support Emery in other areas and go on in the next few years to to start finishing above Tottenham again consistently, start winning major trophies again consistently, consistently, then he would be a big name behind that, making that move like Sol did. But again, that's if we want to start moving like the big boys, because that would be a bold move to make, a bold statement. And like I said, it depends on Champions League. If we if we don't win the Europa League then I don't see Toby taking a step down to sign for us, that's for sure. Um, I'd say he's going to go to a Champions League club because um, as well as money, I'm assuming he wants to start winning stuff because he hasn't won much over there, has he? And finally, I think the third top centre-back that um, we could potentially get if we want to start moving like big boys. I, I keep on saying this, but I have to, I have to reiterate it because... Um, a lot of these names, well, the last two names and the one I'm about to mention, a lot of fans will probably laugh at and say, no way. But Samuel M. Titi, um, Barcelona, we've been linked with him. They're obviously getting delayed. It looks like it was confirmed today on Sky Sports that he'll be going there. Things just need to be finalised. So M. Titi's up for grabs. Only issue with him, injury prone in La Liga. So doesn't bode well for the Premier League. Much more physical. Um, so that's my only issue with him. But he's a top defender as well. Good on the ball, um, solid, gets about, puts his body on the line. So I'd be happy. But my worry with him is is his frailties and his injury records at Barca. So again, that's a big name. <laughs> again, if we want to start moving like big boys, um, it depends all on Stan Kroenke this summer. And Champions League football, I guess. If we get Champions League football, then all eyes are on Stan next. How much are you giving us? Or giving Emery, but I see it as us because us fans deserve to see signings in the summer as well, improvements made. To, um, funnily enough, there's there's quite a few young centre backs out there. Like 
I've mentioned three that, well, two that I'd like in the RB Leipzig centre backs. I've mentioned Saliba, young up and coming one that we're linked with. I haven't seen much of, and I mentioned them um, three top top centre backs in, um, in Titi, Toby Alderweireld and Koulibaly. There's also other defenders out there. Surprisingly, it's it's it's, it's a market that looks kind of healthy right now. Um, centre backs, Jonathan Tarr, young German centre back, big powerhouse. I think he's that like six foot five, six foot six. Um, I think he's that like twenty four years old, still young, uh, maybe looking for a step up. He's at Leverkusen now. Why not? If we haven't got the money for these big boys, if we haven't got the money for the young gems that other um, top European clubs are looking at, then we're gonna have to go for the tier B. And th it doesn't look too bad right now. Like Costas Monolas, I think he's got like a thirty million release clause, thirty one million. Um, he's He's 26, 27. I might be wrong, he might be a bit older, but I think he's 26, 27. Tall, Roma, leader, been in the Champions League for how many years? He's done well, he's got the experience. That's someone we could potentially get. Um, Jose Jimenez, That's the, this, this ain't a TV defender, I don't know what I'm talking about, but Jose Jimenez is a top defender, Atletico. But again, if we don't have Champions League football, then that name there is a myth. You might as well put that with the Koulibaly's and the Umtiti's, because we're at Champions League football. I don't see these defenders coming to us, honestly. Um, we've been linked with um, Den Dokkanum or some something like that. I don't even know what club is he. What club is he coming from or what club? Great, great. No, it's not Grim Oh, what, what, what? I forgot what. Getafe. Ah, I haven't seen nothing about him. I haven't heard nothing about him. At least with the other names throughout the season, even Saliba. Like I've, I've heard him mentioned in WhatsApp groups at least, at least. But with this Den Dokkanum. Katafe defender. I haven't heard nothing about him. I don't see Katafe's defensive record as anything to write home about. So I hope that's just a smokescreen. I hope that's just a smokescreen. And I hope this 40 million budget rumour is just bullshit as well. I really do. Um, because we need we need a lot fucking more than that. Even without Champions League, that better be bullshit. Because 40 million is not enough to fix anything. 40 million, like, above Leicester and Everton and these teams get more than that. Are you kidding me? Even with Europa League, we should get more than that. I don't want to hear nothing like that with new sponsorships as well. Fuck off, mate. We better get more money than that. Or Stan Kroenke. First, first game of next season, I'll be on him. I don't give a shit. If people think I'm going to go there after another summer of not spending correctly, another summer of letdowns, if they think I'm going to go to the first game of the season all with hope and fucking you know, going to gas myself up for the season, then they've got another thing coming. I'll go ready with banners and shirts with Kronke out and whatever we need to do whatever movement we need to start it will start next summer trust me he's had the year now to well he moved Wenger on he's had the year now to oversee the issues at Arsenal he can see the Emery's problem so it's time to back him now without Champions League football I understand we'll be limited I understand that especially with the player names we can get but if we get Champions League football by winning against Chelsea if we get even by Man City fucking getting banned then if we get it somehow then we better spend the money um, accordingly we better make improvements to this squad I'm telling you Stan you know, I, obviously he's not watching these fucking videos but I could wring that guy's neck but we'll give him this summer this summer is his summer January FFP stopped us spending, which which blied Kronke. He couldn't, even if he put in 100 mil, we wouldn't be able to spend it. So he got away, got away with that one. Now we've got, what, Ramsey, Welbeck, check coming off the wage bill. Now we've got new sponsorship deals. Hopefully we can move on maybe a big contract like Mickey or Ozil off the books. Mustafi needs to go. So the, on the horizon, we should have some money this summer. I'm not going to lie to you. We should have some money. So I wouldn't believe the reports of 40 mil. Like, we don't even know yet. We don't even know when Champions League yet. How the fuck can they tell us? But yeah, that's some defenders there. An area we definitely need to improve on. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these defenders. If I've missed anyone out. Um, if you lot probably like watch a few of these defenders a bit more than me I know I've got people that watch me in France and Germany as well so you let me know what, what, what these defenders are all about um, would they improve Arsenal has the media got it wrong over here Is it, it, are they not as good as maybe I'm thinking or the media is saying um, let me know in the comments below and yeah make sure you subscribe follow like share as well look over this summer I'm going to be doing a lot to improve this channel so and that's for you guys at the end of the day 10k 
it's all mad it's all mad but yeah um like i said like share subscribe do all of that stuff and i'll be back i'll probably be back with some wingers because that's the next um area i feel like we need to fucking improve on so i'll be back with a nice list of wingers for for us to kind of go for hopefully hopefully but yeah come on boys europa league final coming up let's do this